call the meeting at 7 o'clock. Um, Park Chief won't be with us. I'll read a mem uh, message from him in the fire report. Uh, okay. I entertain a motion to adopt minutes of February 21st, 2017. I so move. Charles to move. Second. <coughs> Second. Any further discussion regarding those minutes? Other than a name change necessary? May we vote, please? Uh, Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Uh, yes. Mr. Hollister? And UCHER. Yes. Does, does it see, does, do, do, do the MOO? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's all incorrect. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't constantly. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm now entertain a motion to adopt. It's a, uh, March 19th, 2017. I'll make that motion. Mr. Crockett moves. I'll second. And Mr. Hollister seconds. Any further discussion regarding those minutes? Well formed, I want to say. Did they make it through? <laughs> yeah. Hearing no further discussion, may we vote please? Mr. Hoster? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. I would now entertain a motion to approve the payments of bills in the amount of $33,313, excuse me, $15.89. Broken down, general fund $12,399.80, fire fund $12,151.80, uh, 80 is there, cemetery $204.48, in this building $34.2376, and Roman Bridge coming in at $3,032.56. Is there a motion? Oh, there's one more down at the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to keep forgetting. 49 on one capital, $2,100. I will make that motion. There's a motion. Is there a second? Uh, I will second. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm curious. Yours was changed. Yeah, reflecting the last minute. Uh, okay. The. Um, I would point out that um, I'm a little embarrassed about them not catching your name. Because um, uh, Don did, and uh, I didn't. And I encircled it. Mm -hmm. I go through and, and, you know, I'm typing it, and, and as soon as I type it, it switches it. And so I, I put it back there, I, make, I correct it. Mm -hmm. and I just, Anyway, I'm ready to vote on the uh, payment of bills. So, hearing no further discussion, may we vote, please? Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. All right. Correspondence over the period? Lengthy. Lengthy. But interesting, for the most part, I think. Mm -hmm. um, we had an, a request for some information about the Natural Burial Cemetery. Uh, that was answered. We have a uh, uh, message from Community Solutions regarding permaculture design certification program. Uh, two week program starts in September, $950, lunch included. In one of the world's campers. Camping will be available. We also have Community Solution News with a, an award from a Children's Playgrounds being put together. Oh, very nice. We have a public uh, records request from my, for Miami Township for all wages from the year 2017. You can get that separate from all, you know, that pile. Everybody's going to be doing that. Uh, we have a municipal form of 2018. I have no idea what this is. Um, Township clerk letters to the core letter to the unions. Holy moly. <laughs> the survey? Mm -hmm. Is that, should I do that? Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We perform the government. That's it. Not us. But we can check that. No, it does include townships in there. Okay. Does, yeah. okay. Um, notice that the star count statement is available. An interesting little piece of correspondence that. that this goes right to Margaret uh, as a fist officer, correct address and everything. And dear Margaret, because you are an interested party with a with a RUMA, a road use maintenance agreement, somewhere out near Pennsylvania, um, you've been notified that somebody you know might get a lot of money. So hopefully they do. Uh, uh, 
it's just it's just one it's just a, a compliance update I read some of it. It's just making sure that people are paid pay fairly, road crew people. Yeah, but there's a there's a specific um, Ohio Department of Commerce Bureau ways to determine that an excavating contractor failed to compensate his workers properly. This resulted in the company being ordered to pay $25,687.75 in back wages. Yeah, and, and they list that guy. Yeah, and uh, Larry Lang, Excavating Inc. in Beverly, Ohio, but since it says we are, a, uh, uh, we are an interested party. So I never declare that. that. Message sprint. <laughs> it's, 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 it's fake news. Fake news. Okay. Uh, a, uh, a blurb from Eternity Gardens, which is a software company that helps you find cremation spots. Um, a lot of information from the Green County uh, Health Department uh, regarding their uh, 2000 uh, work in 2017. They're their proposed 2019 budget. This was all on the district advisory committee meeting that was held on the 20th. Uh, a notification from Spoom, our Great Lakes uh, chapter about a uh, uh, gathering in Burton, Ohio, which is a long ways away from here. But those are nice to go to. Where is it, North? Uh, yeah, near Geauga County, uh, oh, okay. east, of, east of Cleveland, near the lake. A, a draft resolution that we should consider on the road uh, report. Um, a message from the director of uh, MVRPC asking me to join them at two events in April and May. Uh, a back and forth from the director of Home Inc. to Colin about the use of the property on Wright State. Our Wright State still owns behind us on Z Avenue. A uh, reminder from Colin about the Secretary of Agriculture coming Thursday. A reminder, or not a reminder, but a notice from uh, Carolyn to Stephanie uh, forwarding uh, Marty Heidi's. Information about the safer grants available from the state of Ohio. Uh, Colin, this the time. Eight eight forty five. Yeah, eight eight. Uh, drainage uh, uh, problem, not a problem, but a concern from MSA that was forwarded to, from the uh, engineering consultant that we use. Uh, uh, I can't pull up the name right this second about a low spot out on Marshall Drive, Marshall Street. The problem does not exist. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Did you clear it out or just clean it out? out? There is a clay pipe that feeds in and out of that, that arch feeds into the side, and it does drain out of the catch face into that low spot. So we just flip it. And where's the clay pipe go or come from? It runs low Marshall. Uh -huh. it runs east and west. Uh -huh. And they fed ours out. Nobody, I mean, Denny looked at it about four times when it was raining so hard, and you looked at it, and I looked at it. I I've never seen water right down, right down, you know, that far, down that far in the catch basin. Well, it tomorrow out. morning might be another. <laughs> might find out, but it's five inches lower on our side than that catch basin, but I've never seen water. So I can, we can plug it up and just catch it. To take it out, it runs into the room. Information regarding uh, what happened to uh, regional planning last meeting last week. A uh, survey from USDA uh, about how easy it was to work with them, loaning with them loaning money. Excuse me, a letter that I wrote to uh, Rick Corrales, uh, our state representative, asking him to support the. Uh, uh, proposed volunteer first responder income tax credit legislation from uh, Candace Keller. Uh, the collective bid uh, meeting is on uh, two, Thursday the 12th. You got a letter from that. Yes, okay. so, uh, two more draft resolutions from Sugar Creek Township. Uh, one about uh, 
one about uh, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Scenic Rivers Act, and one about uh, proclaiming Ohio's Year of the Trails. Um, if, if either of you gentlemen would like to have a resolution like these passed from Miami Township, you're more than welcome to copy the resolution and, and bring it forward. I just, mm -hmm. just left not to it. I'll plan to do that for the next meeting. Okay. I, I did the one for the taxes, or the roads. Um, <laughs> um, uh, notice to Patty Bates about Nick Orm working, uh, letting his sheep graze on our option parcel at the cemetery. Uh, legislative uh, alert from uh, Township Association. A uh, couple things back and forth from Karen Wintro and other folks about the uh, Economic Sustainability Commission meeting that's happening Wednesday the 4th mm -hmm. at 7. Um, so this Wednesday? Yeah. Tomorrow. Uh, information about the online burial from Potom and a normal monthly Board of Health uh, minutes from Health. Anything else? There was a Township Zoning Commission meeting minutes were in there somewhere. Okay. Yeah, oh, what were they I, I saw, I read, I just I, read them. I did not see them. They must have mm -hmm. just maybe got stuck with something else. Yeah. They actually the paper went to something else. Perhaps they're seeing. And the USDA process review? You did it. Yeah. It's here. That, oh, you just didn't mention it. Well, he didn't. He didn't call it that. He said it was a survey about uh, mm -hmm. satisfaction or something. Okay. Anyway, yeah. And you know what? What am I going to say? <laughs> you you know, nice. two months into this, I'm not going to say this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> come down the pike. <laughs> yeah. That's right. right. No, no. I wouldn't. No, no. Why would you? We have a. We no, had an excellent do. relationship with him. We, we have enjoyed the process. <laughs> Forward. Absolutely. Okay, there's no more correspondence. Uh, we'll go to fire department report, which is going to be a little bit slim tonight, just because we have no. Well, Bob's here. Bob, you want to you want to speak on behalf of the chief and tell us all about what you've been doing and how things are going and how your recruitment intention and retention. We're getting a lot of uh, some interest. Well, a fair amount of interest through uh, a Facebook game that we put out a little while ago. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many actual um, qualified, if you like, members of the public will come out of this. We're having a, um, an open house later in the month, around the 25th, 27th, something to get. Excellent. Uh, to draw them in. Mm -hmm. Postcards have gone out or going out um, to largely to the township, but it's also targeted also out to some other parts of Dayton and other places as well, trying to get some people in. Is this somewhat part of Nate's plan? Yes. Uh -huh. Nate and Kong working together on this. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there are other aspects of it that are in play at the moment as well. So uh, some advertisements and things are going in the papers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if that happens. Pretty uh, um, wise, that's that. Uh, we had the USDA come in today, um, two fellows from the USDA to, as a preliminary check of the department of the building and security and everything else going on. They came over here for about an hour this morning, uh, looked around and they were satisfied. And so the next will be seen them about 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, mm -hmm. prior to the secretary's arrival. Um, Sunny for six. Right, right, right. Well, I, Sunny for do. I was thinking of USDA. I was, I wasn't thinking of Sunny, the Sunny thing. I was thinking about, you know, the financing. No, the, the, Why are they here checking the security on the building? When well, that was a preliminary thing. We're going to have different people from USDA. Gotcha. We're going to have uh, Ohio State Patrol come in as security, and I don't know if Secret Service are involved or not. I doubt it. So, hmm. but um, they'll be coming around seven in the morning. Cool. Yeah. Well, Colin asked uh, if I would uh, show up as a public servant, and uh, I told him, yeah, I would. So, so 
So it'll be a this, pleasure to see the Collins asked to be here. Well, you know, it was announced at the last meeting, and I just, mm -hmm. I mean, I was planning to come, but I didn't see the email asking for a heads up. Yeah, I, I, there's about five of us he's asked to be here from from the department. Um, we'll be here in class B uniform. So, um, with regard to the township, I don't know. I did get a message from Colin this evening about him his attendance tonight, and he did confirm that he will not be here. He's still in transit from uh, from his trip to New Jersey, but he's saying that uh, we're on track, that's, we are the township on track to implement the 2448 shift schedule during the second week in May. Uh, this is going to allow Joe to return from a previously scheduled vacation and Jason to complete his nursing degree so we can start the schedule without extra coverage. He'll have a full briefing at our next meeting. And just a reminder, Secretary of Agriculture Sunday Purdue will be here Thursday morning at 8 a.m. for a 45 minute visit. Mark has RSVP'd that he will attend, uh, and Chris and Mark cannot. All eyes are on Don, mm -hmm. as it would be nice to have two elected officials there. Mm -hmm. We will have coffee. Don and plans to be here. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> Set that alarm. Okay, having, having no further fire department report. Uh, we'll have new firehouse report, and that is slim. Uh, that is slim as well. Uh, the only thing I know of is at last meeting we were supposed to be on schedule to vote this evening to um, uh, go out to bid on this project, and unfortunately, due to a, uh, a little bit of a snafu, we we're about a week behind, I think. I did get a message from Dan Montgomery, which I don't know where it went, but he was saying that he has gotten preliminary review from the USDA architects in Columbus um, about the plans and the drawings and everything, and he has gotten through most of the review uh, so far and hopes to complete it tomorrow. That's the review from the state architect. Well, the second person, as you recall, we had to send this to two places, the uh, on-site architect, or uh, Ryan Springer, or he was here at one, at one meeting, uh, the man who will be on-site and, and look over USDA's, USDA's interest in the project uh, as it's being built, and will be at our monthly meeting every month from now on. Uh, he has not returned his review of the plans. Dan hopes he'll get that done as soon as possible, in which case, perhaps, at our next meeting, we will then be authorizing MSA to uh, advertise this project for construction. And then how long before we would be able to formally review the bids? Well, generally, it's a three-week advertisement, um, and then you know, we would open them up. Uh, we would not necessarily make a decision at the time. We certainly could, um, but USDA likes to have, believe it or not, another couple of weeks where we interview the people, the companies that uh, have responded, or at least the ones that we feel are you know, interested enough that uh, they qualify, uh, interview them, and then make the decision who to award the contract to. So, so now you're end of May, probably earliest. So much for turning March 1st uh, groundbreaking, huh? <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, I think that's the only thing I had about it. He has to notify the individual that questioned the drainage pipe. Um, said on the letter that they wanted a verification. Uh, yeah. I, they wanted that there was another pipe in that catch basin yeah. that drains, mm -hmm. and it, 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 there is. I'll, yeah, I'll let him know. Um, Denny's been also corresponding with him about that. I gotta double check that he didn't go out there and dig it up either. Nobody dug it up before I got there. Okay. He was. Um, you say it's full? It was. Okay. 
cemetery? Oh, Mr. Cemetery. We had a couple burials. We had some ashes and a full burial today in the natural burial area. Mm -hmm. so. How'd it go? Good. Yeah. It went uh, quick and smooth. Everybody was happy. Equipment worked all right? Oh, the equipment worked all right. It's a nice uh, wicker casket. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Which one I've seen. Mm -hmm. so, I've got three pending. I have two. One in Glen Forest and two in Clifton Ashes. Mm -hmm. So in the next, so one of them was a 26 or a 26 in Glen Forest. But they had to pick spots so she would uh, meet with me a couple of days before and pick a spot in the Lakeview section. Yeah. And they said they wanted Ashes and wanted a nice area so we're, we're going to meet with something. Well, I've got two of them coming up. How about that one last fall the natural bear was a wicker? The one? No, the infant was a wicker um, cast, but it wasn't the same as this one. Yeah. You know, the different cast, it was mm -hmm. real lightweight. Mm -hmm. Who? Who was it? Uh, Janelle Gibbons. Mm -hmm. That way or something. Mm -hmm. But that's what we've had. So. Those bears. Mm -hmm. Um, Roger said he would take care of that for you. Okay, thank you. Twice, if you like. Yeah. Spring, spring, like early and later or something. Yeah. He said he'd get on it. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, sides of the canyon are back home. Uh, but they're not yeah, permanent I, I, because I, the canyon has shifted. Richard's not here. I was I hoping you'd talk to him. But it's I mean, it's, we, we talked for a second, but you know, just in passing, we didn't have time to talk much about it. And uh, there were two, two odd gentlemen from the Oddfellows there, uh, Pastor and, and Terry Alexander. They, they are going to the take. They, they are going to take the temporary support. Up. They are, but the cannon has shifted, and the one side towards 68 went right off the rock. They had trouble with the, with the west side, mm -hmm. so the cannon shifted. So they need to actually pick the cannon up. Mm -hmm. And so Spratt and his brothers are working on that. Maybe have Fred Maine from now for record. Because it weighs 15,010 pounds. Mm -hmm. He can lift that. Yeah. It's a matter of, you know, backing in, running his record out, lift it up and where it needs to be. And at that time, put the sides on set. Because mm -hmm. we couldn't get the, the one to go on with the next question. Mm -hmm. And some of their rework caused a little bit of the issue, which they fixed, but it still won't go on because of they're there, they look nice. The letters are provided. Yeah, little. They're shiny. Little shiny for my taste. <laughs> In fact, uh, hopefully that enamel will dull up a little bit. I don't. Well, it will weather over time because they're polished stainless, is what it is. Well, no, I mean, it's a, the enamel, the oh, black damn. enamel. Yeah, it, it, it should. Which is mighty shiny, too. I don't know if they're planning on repainting the cannon because it's rusting like crazy. It's been painted, but I know. But it ha there's one spot that has to be repainted now and scratched. Yeah, there's that, and then it, it's just it's badly rusting, and and all that all that rust color is now going over the one side. Oh, from the top, the yeah. west side, it's all that. Uh -huh. They they said they'd be back in touch. Okay, I was just hoping to ask Richard. I mean, just to make sure that they weren't finished. Yeah. No, they're not. I asked them to keep me in the loop if they could because kind of involved with it. It was not as it looked not actually. It yeah. Good, so. But it's, it, it's shifted and they think maybe it's, it's shifted from moving it. I think the weather, moisture under their framework has moved, like moved the stone, you know, mm -hmm. ice will move the stone. Mm -hmm. and that's what the issue is. So they're going to pick it up. You don't have to move that far. But, but <laughs> A long ways for a long week. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of any plans for the base of the cannon balls? They're going to rebuild it. Okay. The way, the way they talked it. Yeah. I didn't hear any decision. I guess they're going to take it apart. Yeah. Okay. It's all I have. Well, what's going on in the roads? Got a tree clean up. Dude. Do a road tour? No. Uh, was, we had a tree coming down Friday on High Road. Ham yesterday. And then I got called on it, and it wasn't on the road, but it was on the fence for the horses. So I got called about a case of horses got out. 
I'll talk to her. They cleaned up, got their fence back up. Now I just clean it up. So I can't have some more of them. Did you put down any of that coal patch? Can you do today? I barely know. So that was the plan for a day. So tomorrow, it's not raining too bad. It's supposed to snow Wednesday between 9 and 11. Oh, it's supposed to be 70 tomorrow. It's supposed to be heavy rain tomorrow. Heavy rain tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And, and, maybe and then snow between and 9 and, and 11 on Wednesday and then thunderstorms. Good. And snowing on Saturday. Snowing on Saturday. But it's Saturday. near 70 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Today, I you, looked you into my last night. Yeah, yeah, I waited for really cold. They never called, but I had, you know, Right about three and a half inches of snow on front this morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little less when we got down this way. Yeah. You know, like we, had, we had a good inch of snow. He's just nothing on the road, though. Yeah, they were just wet. Mm -hmm. But um, Yes, sir? I can't remember what I was going to point out. They'll come back to you. Mm hmm. the standard agreement between the uh, Green County Engineer and Board of Trustees for the uh, chip seal work uh, that's going to be done later this year. Uh, I would entertain a motion to adopt resolution 2018-14. I shall so move. I shall so move. Mr. Crockett yeah. seconds. Any further discussion regarding this agreement? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. I also have a resolution uh, before us, which would be 2018 15? No, 16. 16? Please. Um, I already have a 15. And it basically reads resolution supporting Green County additional license tax for the benefit of Township Roads, whereas it's an opportunity for Green County to collect an additional $5 tax on the annual renewal of water registration fees in Green County, and whereas the Green County engineer has proposed to impose the additional tax and distribute the additional collected fund to the township funds to the townships in Green County for the purpose of resurfacing township roads and now therefore be it resolved that the Board of Trustees of Miami Township, Green County, supports and endorses the efforts of, of, not of, the Green County Engineer to secure the funding of township roadways. Be it further resolved that the Board of Trustees of Miami Township, Green County, applauds the Green County Engineer for his efforts in revenue sharing for the townships and the citizens of Green County. Uh, resolution um, put forth at a public meeting held on April 2, 2018. Is there any support from the board for this motion for this resolution? Yes. Um, I'll second it. <coughs> Are you now moving it? This motion, yeah. I was going to um, just simply say that the resolution is uh, 2018-15. Well, I have a 15 already, so... Mm -hmm. 15. That's a separate, that's another resolution. Oh, okay. That's, that's Margaret's resolution. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so, but you are going to move for adoption of 2018-16 then? Yes. Okay. And you were going to second that? Yes. Good. Any further discussion regarding that resolution? Hang on, maybe both, please. Uh, actually, I was about to say. Okay. Well, I can just jump, jump right in, it's, everybody. <laughs> I'm guessing that this might mean about ten thousand dollars, not much. Not too much, no, sir. Yeah. And that if total were, for the county? Hmm? No, just for this. That is, if there were two thousand cars registered. Yeah, I don't. We would get. Twelve thousand. Ten thousand. I'm just guessing how many cars we have. That's a lot of coal patch. It'll help. It's a little tip seal. It'll help. I was going to say, money's money. Um, that, anyway, it's a, just the order of magnitude is not huge. No. So anyway, if we vote in favor, I will then forward it to the 
county engineer and the county commissioners forthwith. And, and you'll certainly make copy for our files. I will. So, hearing no further discussion, may we vote please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Okay, Daniel, anything else? No. Did you uh, make any further work on the Tobias Road did, drain? Um, I, I have the, I have the material. Okay. And that's, you know, I'd like to get this week late. I got potholes, so mm -hmm. late this week, first week, you know, within the next 10 days. Did you get a chance to, and I'm hearing this third hand, I get a chance to address uh, uh, Mark's concerns of drainage on Carol Lamont? I've been looking at it. I'll go out and move some dirt around and find the end of the pipe. Maybe drain like they usually do. See what's there. If something we ever better. experimented with taking the fire hose to one end of the culvert? We have. It drains. The, the whole thing is it, it's the sediment where it drains in is just there and we just have to, mm -hmm. you know, have to go out there maybe and open that up a little bit with a back or something. I'm not trying to hand mm -hmm. but it just, it just keeps washing in there. I don't know. I have to look and see if there's a, a solution to keep it from plugging up. How's our new associate road employee working? Just hold it. He's going to be good. He's hands in, just right in. You be able to get him to get some of those graves that you haven't been able to get to to top off and seed and, and straw here directly. I will. Then uh, get some dry weather. It's yeah, coming. That's key. One of these days. Yeah. I hear you. I got part of them, but I got stopped to the weather. Yeah. I know I missed my deadline. But I'm... All right. April first was the deadline. Yeah. I believe you said. I'm way day late right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for Rose? No. Uh, what you have no. hope for me? No. Uh, I need to go back, jump back a little bit to cemeteries. I uh, wanted to let you know that we are currently uh, online now for the burial search. Uh, mm. The general public can go to MiamiTouchit.net and click on burial search, and they will get a panel. A page panel that comes up, and you can put in, you know, uh, I'm not sure how, you know, whether it's, you know, by only by, I, I, you can put in by last name to start with. I mean, that's the main thing. You only have to type in three letters of a last name, and it'll bring up all the barrels with just three letters, uh, so it doesn't have to be the exact spelling. It goes way back. It goes for everything. <coughs> Every entry that we've got in the in the system for all four. Uh, actually, all seven. We're calling them seven mm -hmm. cemeteries because it's Glen Forest, Glen Forest East, East Natural Burial, Natural Burial, uh, Scattering Garden, uh, Clifton Union, Pleasant Range, and Cornell Family. Mm -hmm. So every record that we have is is available online. Miami mm -hmm. Township spelled out the full. Yeah, Miami Township dot net. Um, and that's an online burial search, so they can go on. Does that include the High Road and West Eden? Huh? The, the cemetery of the High Road and West Eden. Pleasant Grove, yes. Is that Pleasant Grove? Grove. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. uh, we're going to let it cold start for a little while um, just to see if there's any glitches in it, and then we'll run a couple of ads. <coughs> paper. Okay. Works pretty well. I've been playing with it. Yeah. Um, you can also, the, the public or the private pet can click on a section of it and make any additions or corrections or deletions to any of the information that they find. Now, they can't do it directly. It will come back to us, and then we can decide whether it's appropriate to make those uh, changes. So if they looked at it and said, okay, something so and so is buried here that we didn't know about, they can do that and No, I'm thinking more of, you know, Aunt, Aunt Mildred is buried here, and it says Aunt Mildred's husband's name was Bob, and it really was Roger, or 
you know, it doesn't show anything about her grandchildren or her grandmother or her maiden name or how old she was, when she died, how she died, where she died, any of those things. And if they want to provide that information, then we can, oh, we can add, add, it, oh, yeah. add it to their, their burial records. Okay. That would be part of their permanent record. Cool. But they can't make the change. They can just they request can submit it. it and we have it. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's wrong. Uh -huh. I did that for one person today. That was going to be interesting. Hmm. Nice. All right, so that's that's that. Oh, I got to go back to centers again. I've <laughs> I've, I've uh, procrastinated procrastinated long enough and waited long enough for you to find your uh, Corvette driving fence stealing uh, person, and so I've asked the fence guys who, who did our other fences to, make it so. to come into town and, and give me an idea what it's going to cost to fix that hole in, in the fence. I heard the record was in Zenia. It was located somewhere in Zenia. The address is just located in Zenia. The, the rollback. But That's a little while ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if they actually took the fence or one of the local mm -hmm. scrap haulers took the fence. Out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, next week they'll be in town and uh, I'll get an idea what it's going to involve. It's not that big a deal. It's okay. I just looked up my mother-in-law and there's a lot of information I could add through your system. So I'm going to throw her in there. Good. <laughs> okay, well, I've already changed my mind three times, but let's move on to fiscal officer's report. I just simply have... Um, one resolution uh, to, um, I can read it, resolution 2018-15, whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now therefore the trustees authorize an amendment to the following permanent appropriation, and that is in um, the cemetery line other, Incre I increased it since there was zero dollars in this line, and it was the $8,432.94 which is our contribution to the Clifton Cemetery Board uh, for the ha that's half of the maintenance cost for 2017 to the penny. So the Miami Township Trustees authorize the fiscal officer to do so immediately. Is there a motion to approve resolution 2018-15? I so move. Mr. Oscar moves. I have a second. Thing. There's a movement and a second for the discussion regarding the adoption of that resolution. Hearing none, may we vote please. Ms. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. And that's all you had, Margaret? Um, that was it? That, well, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm probably forgetting something, right? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, that resolution you have dated April 1st. Oh, darn it. Okay, I'll fix that. It, it might. Yeah. Historians might right. no, view it with more want, respect if it says the same. I'll fix it. That's that autocorrect again. No, no, yeah, right. April no, first. Just... April Fool's Day. So <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh, what? Okay. Um, what's your plan on timing for making this reimbursement into the general fund? that Ahmed gave us the note for. Oh, that. Um, well, probably within the next week or so. Okay. Um, so we'll be able to do that and, and pay off West Bank on that next meeting? Um, well, it depends on when we get the money from the USDA. I mean, well, you know, we... Well, the 300000 is in there. Yeah but, the, yeah, but, yeah, but we want to be reimbursed for more. We want to be reimbursed for the purchase of the land. No. Yes. We don't? No. Why not? Uh, uh, I thought Ashley's, that was the whole big deal. Yeah, Ashley's explained that, and I forget the, whole, the exact reason. But You're kidding. I, I, that's what I was going to ask for. Was I thought we, that's the cost of, you know, well, the cost of the land is not the same as the building, probably. Right. And it was not in the original proposal. That was what was called, um, as you recall, it was called uh, 
the owner's contribution. The, the, the entire project is six million one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Five hundred seventy-five thousand from a loan from USDA. It's three hundred fifty thousand from owner's contribution. And so they're not paying the owner's contribution. Right, and then he also said that he would it would not be reimbursed for the loan that we took out because that's owner's contribution. And we owners yeah. paid, yes, but I mean, I remember him distinctly saying that mm -hmm. that, right. he would, that he would, couldn't reimburse that. Right. Did you not hear that? Uh, you yeah, hear you're hearing? you're right. So I, I so, assume we're being reimbursed for the like purchase, which I thought that was a big deal. But so you're right. I think we cannot use that money now that we well. But that money, once that money goes back in the general fund, it's just plain general fund money. We can use it for whatever we want. You know, we paid Schaefer some. We paid, you know, yeah, whoever I mean, all I these people we paid what for. All, what, all we, um, what all we did, what all we've paid for, and what we've been reimbursed for. And I'm pretty sure we are kind of caught up in all that. And I can't, I can't, I can't request a submit. Uh, for reimbursement until the check is cleared, whatever we've done. Well, we paid MSA a, a, a pretty good chunk out of the general fund before we got USDA money. Uh, but I'm, well, again, I just need to go back and check because we, I submitted all that. That's how we ended up with a, that's how we submitted, a, that's how we ended up with $306,000. Right, you submitted it, but then we couldn't transfer it back to where it came from, the general fund. Okay, well, I'm going to have to check. Or the see. fire fund. Yeah, yeah, I need, yeah, I need to check and see where it all came from. So. Okay. I haven't, I haven't, I, 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 but I'm, I was moving on the uh, assumption that we were going to be reimbursed mm -hmm. for the cost of the land. Okay, but. But that's wrong, apparently. But regardless, that money goes back into the fund from which it came. We can spend it on anything we want. That's true. And that but could just, be paying off that loan. Right, I just need to do some more research. And okay. Sort through that. I have that, mm -hmm. I have that as a, as a, um, a major task and. Also, um, the uh, automatic deposit of payroll is, a, is another big deal that, uh, I mean, you know, that, that's going to take a lot of time to get that set up. And the, uh, I'm trying to get that moved forward as well, so. We continue to pay interest yep. on the, on the mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have talked to Connie more than once about, you know, the day that we, when it comes time to pay off that loan, mm -hmm. I can call her that day and get the final, you know, the, the exact amount that we pay that day. We whittled down. It's we borrowed fifty thousand and we owe forty nine thousand and some change. <laughs> so anyway, um, most of it's just interest that we've been paying. Mm -hmm. So um, do we need to get some clarification on the cost of the land, no. or are you just you're positive that? Yes. We can't get that back. We can't get back the fifty thousand. But other stuff. That's what I'm gonna look up and see what we've Anyway, I'll check that out. We have that's, gotten that's reimbursed, but it's reimbursed into the capital fund. Right. We're reimbursing from the capital fund into the general fund. I, I will I will I'll be following up on that. Okay. Yeah. One last thing, please. Yes. I would like to be able to uh, at your leisure uh, take 2017's minutes that are on electronic form on thumb drives and put them in the safe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm still using that stick, that thumb drive thing. But well, I need to finish putting minutes, 2017 minutes, in the book as well. And just sometime when you think about it, just let me know which one I can either. Copy off of them onto a new thumb drive, or yeah, um, I know. You know what? I was given a new thumb drive, and it just won't, it won't even re my when I put it in my computer, it won't respond. It won't act. You know. Trash can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, they're not playing you. Anything else for the fist officer from the floor? Daniel. No. Bob. No. Sure. Done. No. Mark. No. You're off the hook. Mm -hmm. Zoning? You're free goods. Yeah.
Bob? <laughs> um, no, nothing to report. Okay. Uh, Sam reports to the next meeting. Uh, any all business this evening? Bob? Uh, nothing to <laughs> no. report. Even though it's a standing report, I'll just comment that the Clifton Union Cemetery uh, Board Committee will be meeting this week. Excellent. Thank you, Margaret. Uh -huh. uh, if Richard was here, we would find out if the Zoning Commission passed the, uh, the second public hearing mm -hmm. for the zoning additions that we have 30 days to adopt, and we also have to uh, advertise them two weeks in advance of our public hearing, so I'm sure he'll He'll be around. Ooh. Well, maybe we should move forward as if that did pass, because otherwise you're going to be backed up in time again, right? We should advertise two weeks before. Mm -hmm. Do we need a motion to advertise? No, but you need a motion to adopt. Or at least something, don't you? Yeah. We will, at our public meeting, we will make that. Okay. So who's going to be? All we have to do is, is advertise. Who's going to be on? Uh, on the hook for ordering the ad after uh, getting a word from Richard. Well, that could be you. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. The meeting was on the 20th? Yes. So that 30 days puts us 20 days 20, uh, into April. When's our next meeting? It's got to be before the 20th. Uh, the 16th? 16th. I mean, that's what I put on here, but mm -hmm. uh, Well, perhaps you could get with Richard and confirm that they that they mm -hmm. passed the recommendation again. I mean, I assume they did, but I just hate to make that. You know, maybe we got jumping mm -hmm. on or something. We haven't been given minutes for the March 20th. No. No, there's the minutes that were floating around. They were February's minutes, and it didn't address the, the, uh, the new hearing. And uh, did we expect what meeting? Richard, uh, did he explain that he wasn't coming? Huh? Uh, not to me. Richard's. I saw him yesterday. His communicative capabilities are well, smoke signals and. Uh, Okay. But don't you have to have a public, what, what's the time frame on the public hearing? We need to advertise it 10 days before the public hearing, so maybe it needs to be in this, this week's newspaper. Like, we need to call them tomorrow morning and put a, a notice in the paper that we're going to have a public hearing on the 16th. I think you're right. Does that, did somebody say that? Well, I'll call Richard tonight, and I'll try to get it in the paper. Just call the newspaper person who wants to do display display ad. And <laughs> so we'll do the resolution at the next meeting or the public meeting. Yeah, we can get it ready to go. Well, after we have the public meeting, we have 30 days to make a decision oh. about what to do with the with the recommendation. I thought we had 30 days to decide. I mean, we you have 30 days to decide after their public hearing. We have 30 days. To have a public hearing after their recommendation oh, okay. at their public hearing, okay. we have 30 days after yeah, our public that, hearing okay. to decide oh. whether to uh, adopt their resolution, mm -hmm. deny their resolution, or modify their resolution. Okay. And the age-old question is, how much modification can you do, which has absolutely no <laughs> no direction from anybody that I've ever. Okay, any new business before the board this evening? Bob? Is it? All right, Bob? Uh, no. no. Mark? No. Well, in that case, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. I will make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Some versions of reference will order.